Hi, my name is Dr. Susan Williford and I'm here to talk to you about uterine cancer, which is also called endometrial cancer. The uterus is a pear-shaped organ that sits between a woman's bladder and rectum. It is used to house the baby during pregnancy. When a woman has a menstrual cycle and the egg is not fertilized, the uterine lining sheds and the woman has her menstrual period. A cancer can form when normal cells mutate and grow uncontrollably into a tumor. The most common type of cancer of the uterus is adenocarcinoma, which starts in the lining cells of the uterus. If a cancer starts in the muscle of the uterus, it is often called a sarcoma. Risk factors for uterine cancer are obesity and also taking estrogens without progesterone. This was a practice that was done about 30 years ago to treat menopause symptoms. Giving estrogen without progesterone is no longer done today. Uterine cancer is staged zero to four. Stage zero and one is when the cancer cells are in the lining of the uterus or go into the muscle of the uterus. Stage two is when cancer cells invade into the cervix, which is at the bottom of the uterus. Stage three is when cancer invades into the vagina or lymph nodes. And stage four is when cancer invades into the pelvis or other organs. Treatment of uterine cancer is usually surgical resection or removal of the uterus and surrounding tissue. Sometimes we also use radiation therapy, which is high dose x-ray, either given externally by a machine or inserted into the vagina area by an implant. Chemotherapy is usually not used for endometrial cancer except in later stages or for high risk cancers. Today, we have new surgical techniques such as laparoscopic surgery and robotic surgery that can make a woman's recovery quicker. Questions to ask your doctor are, what type of cancer do I have and what stage is my cancer? What surgical and local treatment options are available for me? Do I need anything in addition to surgery? And are clinical trials available? Remember, you are not alone in this cancer journey. We, your healthcare providers, GPS, your friends and family are here to help you along the way.